Hi, my name is Joe and I'm a drug addict. You know, I was always a recreational and a social user. You know, it started with drinking, smoking marijuana, but there's a there was a line that I crossed somewhere. It's invisible. I don't know I don't know when it became an addiction and it stopped just being fun. You know, it's an invisible line in my early twenties, late teens. So it's not really a, a an exact point. It was just uh, somewhere in the use. Um, I went for the point. I went. I went to where I, I, I had to use and didn't just do it for fun. Well, the worst part of the addiction, I mean, there's, the whole thing's uh, tough. It's, uh, it's all the time that I missed. I mean, I used for 18 to 20 years. Um, so, you know, the time I lost with my family, friends, things that I could have I, I could have accomplished, I ruined. I, I buried a wife, a child, um, I faced prison. Um, waking up every day sucked, trying to get money together, trying to, just trying to get through the day, trying to cover up my lies. Um, you know, it's all, it, the whole thing's a mess. For me to want to get help, I had to really, to bring myself down, um, you know, to a, to a very low bottom, you know. I'd have to burn up all my resources, you know, burn all my relationships, any, any, I would keep going. Anytime I could find a way to extend it so I could get high another day, I would do it. So basically when I was at my bottom, I couldn't come up with money, I couldn't steal anymore, I couldn't do what I needed to do to get high, then I, I gave up and I was like, you know, now's the time to get help. When I first arrived here, I was defeated. You know, like I said, I, 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 I burned every bridge, all my resources were gone, you know, so I had nothing. It was actually a relief to, to come because it was like, you know, I, I didn't have to work so hard anymore. I could, I just kind of gave up, you know, so it was, it was, uh, I was defeated, yet I still, there was still hope. I knew that, you know, that's what needed to happen to me for me to have a chance. I, I really, I really wanted this. Um, and, and the staff, the staff's really helped. There's a couple key people in the staff that really, I connected with, and when you, when you when you get that, it, it gave me hope. You know, it gave me. I, I could see purpose in my future. Like I, there was something different. You know, and I was also working on the connection with the higher power. You know, reading reading books, reading out of the Bible. You know, trying new things. That uh, praying. You know, I did a couple things different. Humble myself. Um, that that little bit of work was huge for me. It was. Uh, it just let me, uh, gave me a different perspective on life and it gave me hope because like I said, there's a few key staff members that uh, I really connected with that, um, that that just been really special. I mean, it's it, that changed everything for me. I have a lot of goals that I've set. You know, I'm finding a purpose for myself. Um, I don't want to jump too far ahead into the future. What I try and do every day is just maintain a routine, stay close to CWC. Um, because like I said, there's, there's a special connection there for me and there's people on the staff that I have relationships with, with now that I, that I need in my life to stay sober. Um, but man, I have so many things I'm looking forward to, just plans with my family, plans for my career. Um, the sky's the limit.